hello everyone my name is essie welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you for tuning in today we are going to talk about something so big so big but briefly we are going to talk about worship yes i didn't want to say that we are talking about something small because uh-uh it's not small it is so big but we are just briefly going to talk about it a lot of people ask themselves including pastors worship leaders and church goers what worship is well i am here to remind you and to let you know that worship is your attitude in the presence of god what is your attitude in the presence of god worship is one of the things in the bible that is of tremendous importance in a life of, of a believer many church goers talk about worship and they are referring to their sunday morning service the hymns the planned songs for the congregation to sing and yet a few of them actually understand and know that worship is taking place at that very moment when the songs are being sung and the music is being played and it is so sad worship goes beyond our behaviors actions it actually happens in the heart deep within your heart what you have in the inside of you when you come in contact with become aware of and have the revelation of god's holiness the only appropriate way of response is worship so i will say that worship is our attitude when we come in contact with become aware of and have the revelation of who god is have the revelation of god's holiness without such a revelation worship can never take place god's holiness cannot be defined it cannot be explained i cannot explain it i cannot define it it is just a revelation that comes to each one of us to our individual beings this is so important to a lot of christians me and you that is watching because we have an idea about we have different ideas about holiness well a lot of people think that holiness is a set of rules of how a person can talk, where a person can go, how they can dress, and where they may go. But uh-uh, that has nothing to do with holiness. Paul emphasizes this in the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verses 20 up to 23. It should not be legalism, but Christ. Let it be about Christ. Let it be about getting the revelation of who he is. The more you focus on things you are not supposed to do, the more power they have over you. I am a worship leader. The more I focus on the things that my group and is not supposed to do, is the more these things have power over me. A lot of power over me. Oh, I will not go into that. <laughs> but you know how we can focus on things that get us off topic get us off track i don't want to lose my temper because i am focusing on the wrong things that are being done by my group i don't want because that will make me sleep out of god's presence how i pray that may the lord give you the the strength the the grace to understand how you need to move that you're not reminded I am praying for you that may the Spirit of God give you the Spirit of Truth that will allow you to get to know the things you have to do in your heart, the right things you have to do in your, in your heart, that you may not focus on the things you're not supposed to do because they are going to overshadow you, they are going to overtake you, and you will not be able to get the package. You will not be able to partake of what the Lord has prepared for you in stock. You will not be able to worship because you have that thing on your heart, stuck on your heart. God wants us to renew our spiritual vitality. I pray for you all that may the Lord give you the strength. May the Lord open up your eyes, your spiritual eyes, because these things cannot be seen in our carnal eyes. May the Lord open up your mind. May the Lord open up your heart. May the Lord give you the spirit of truth because the Bible says he's seeking for he, she, that will come before him with true worship. May the Lord give you the spirit of truth that will reveal God's holiness 
in its abundance that you will be able to worship we shall continue from there i still have a lot of things to talk but i didn't want to make this so long so as i leave you i pray for you watching me on your screen on your phone seated on your bed in your sitting room on your dining table outside wherever you are that may the spirit of god give you the spirit of truth may god give you the spirit of truth that will reveal his holiness to you because that is the only way you can worship that is the only way we can offer thanksgiving to him that is the only way we can offer open up our hearts truthfully to worship him Thank you for watching. I love you all and God bless you.